Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We have some special guests with us today. Now, who, who are these uh, young individuals, uh, Yee? Well, they're part of the United Youth Aviators Program. And mm-hmm. I actually met you at the uh, Barclays Center at a Brooklyn Nets game. So let's talk about who you are and what the program is. Uh, so my name is Cleet Titus. I'm the founder of the program. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I started it uh, last year. We started a group of us and we said, you know what? How can we bring aviation to the inner city kids in the community? How can we bring aviation to, you know, black and brown colored kids? How can we expand their minds? And, you know, I said, okay, I became a camp director. Mm-hmm. And after I became a licensed camp director, I said, you know what? Let's let's, let's bring this together. And we started a summer camp, a summer aviation program, which allowed kids to come in Monday to Friday for six weeks, fly planes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then take a big trip every Friday. So they actually fly the plane? Yes, I'm a flight instructor. Sheesh. Do y'all know how to fly? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, Envy has to catch a flight. Can you help him? Yeah, can y'all get can me you... to uh, North Carolina? <laughs> <laughs> What's the furthest that you guys have flown? Oh, I'm new. We knew. So yeah. we flew one time. Mm-hmm. Was it? How was it the first time? I wasn't nervous because I don't think it's nothing to be nervous about. Mm-hmm. You just, as, as long as you calm and it's nothing to be nervous about. Because knowing that he's there, if anything go wrong, he go, he's right there to fix it. And what's your name? So, Amora. Amora, okay. That's interesting because you know what? When I, when I fly, and you know we fly all the time, I can't even remember ever seeing a black pilot. Exactly. On the every, plane. Far and few. Yeah, it's very... And Definitely a, far a and few. A black woman pilot? I think I, like... Have you ever seen a black woman pilot? That I haven't seen. You now, know, what, made, what made you guys want to get into a- a- aviation? Uh, when I was younger, I thought about it from time to time, but this was... A, the program was, a, was something brought to me from my principal. And being that I thought of it as a kid, it was like something that could expand my like my love for it and maybe I'll think about being at uh, the airlines when I get older mm-hmm. what about you um so I wanted to be I want to be an astrophysicist mm-hmm. so being a pilot is kind of all in like the aeronautical field um and then I was applying to a college and um it's a school specifically for aeronautics and I'm like you know what let me not just stick to one field if I could get my uh, pilot license then that's kind of like a broader spectrum and it gives mm-hmm. me more options for the future because I mean that's nothing that somebody could take away from me you know what I'm saying that's what, amazing what about, what about you young man well like for me I used to go on vacations a lot with my mom when I was younger and like one time we went to Puerto Rico after everybody got off the plane my mom was like where was I and she had found me in a cockpit with the pilots like asking them with everything did, with all the buttons did, and from there, like I had like fell in love with it. You didn't touch anything, right? Goodness <laughs> <laughs> no, gracious! And one more, what? All right. So since I was young, um, my first flight, I was actually about to turn four. I was three years old, and ever since then, I take uh, plane trips across the uh, world every year. So I knew that that's something I always like to do. I always love being in the air. So being a pilot, that was just what it came to be. I'm interested in how this program works. So how often is it? Is it only in summers? And then when is the first time you get to fly a plane? Where do you fly this plane to? What kind of planes are these? All right. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> what we do, we first started in, like I said, the summer, and they're flying four days a week. And then now we expanded it to our weekend academy where we went to the high schools. And actually, one of the principals, we was we were um, at a breakfast, a breakfast with uh Carnegie, we was invited, and it was like for CBOs, community-based organizations, and a lot of the principals saw what we were doing, and he soloed already because he's close to getting his license, wow. and a lot of the principals and everybody was crying in the room. So everybody was like, y'all have these kids doing what? This? It's crazy. So one of the principals, her principal, with the, you ever heard of the Brooklyn Steam Center? It's a powerful, yeah. mm-hmm, oh, mm-hmm. I love it. So he was like, listen, you need to take these steps because we can sponsor these kids into your program. Mm-hmm. And we was like, great. And that's how the weekend academy birth. So we have these kids flying on the weekend. So they're flying on the weekends right now. Is this a free program? No. Okay. Yeah, so we, we have a nonprofit, mm-hmm. the Young Airmen's, academy, um, Young Airmen's Association, which we went out and raised money. So we, you know what's funny how it all started? Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people, when you, when you tell them, that you're gonna do something like this, the audacity of you to say you're gonna be taking these kids flying from from in the inner city community, you know, and come on, kids in the hood, they like, we ain't trying to hear that. But as we began to tell people, everybody was just like, that's big, but can y'all do it? That's big, but can y'all do it? Mm-hmm. And then 
we was fortunate enough that, you know, with our connections, we were able to, you know, get in front of some local politicians. Mm -hmm. And even with them, they were blown away, but was it was, can they do it? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Eric Adams was the, one of our biggest supporters. Our and he Brooklyn was like, Borough president. Yeah, our Brooklyn Borough. He was like, y'all can do it. I'm going to fund it. And then we had, you know, Alika Samuels, and we had other uh, local business owners saying, you know what, I'm going to support this because what y'all doing is big. And you think about that, and we ran a scale, we, basically we was running on nothing. You know, the little bit of money we got, we started with the nine in the summer, and just from there we was on New York One, you know, in focus. We was on Channel 12, 11, 5, 2, and we was getting all this publicity in such a short period of time because look what we're doing. Right. And now, you know, that led us to, we, you know, the Brooklyn Nets found us and was like, we want to feature y'all. They put us on a Megatron. Mm -hmm. And now we here at the Breakfast Club, like, <laughs> with just a skeleton of, you know, just a little bit, a fraction of what we could have done. So we out there raising money through our nonprofit to continue these kids. And we got a waiting list of over 80 kids throughout the city. Now, like, that's that's a question. crazy. So how do you get the planes? Do you rent the planes? Do you own a plane? So what we're doing right now is we rent the we rent the planes right now. But you know, as we acquire and what type of plane is it? Is it propeller? Is it, is it, is it jet? <laughs> no, we're flying jets. So, no jets <laughs> <laughs> so it's a uh, um, they're Cessnas mm -hmm. and uh, one seventy two G one thousands. That's what we fly. That's what the kids fly. Um, as we get bigger, we're gonna buy our own plane and we can bring the cost down. So you know, economy of scales will kick in. But the whole thing is right now is we gotta rent. So, so if you fly a, a Cessna, is it the same? Like, it's kind of like if, if you drive a, a Toyota, you can drive a Rolls Royce. Is it that type of thing? Or if you drive a stick <laughs> shift, you can drive an a, a 18-wheeler. You know the mechanics of it. Well, you, you kind of understand the basics of, aer, you know, aviation and, and aerodynamics. But I have, a, I have a commercial license. I'm a, you know, flight instructor. I'm licensed to fly single-engine, multi-engine. But it, just because I fly a Cessna, it's a single engine. If I want to get into another plane as a single engine, I have to get checked out. So they're very strict in aviation. They don't mm -hmm. play no games. Right. So you, so you can't fly commercial airlines. You, know what I'm saying? you <laughs> can't get on Delta right now and, and, and fly. He can as much as he on the simulators, but not. <laughs> <laughs> but not if it was an emergency situation, yeah, I could put the plane down. You know, because, you know, it's the same principles. They just got to tell me what's going on, what's the speeds and stuff like that. Now, you know, I wanted to I wanted to be a pilot like for a short oh period gosh. of time. Is this going to be a story like how you wanted to pledge Kappa? No, no, no. I wanted to. But you know what happened? I, um, back then, you needed 20-20 vision. Mm -hmm. And I had have, I have big-ass bifocals, so I couldn't... They, I, I couldn't yeah, get if I saw you with your bifocals, right. I was, I'd be like, no. Nope. Uh, yeah, but if you got correct... I, I got LASIK now, but now I'm sure... But they didn't have LASIK back Go then. Go do it. I'm telling you, with... with um, so the the lady from Channel Two, she was like, "I'm going to get in a plane, right?" She was like, "I'm going to get in a plane with you guys and do the interview." So we was like, "Okay, come on." So she flew with us, did the, um, you know, and she took her film and everything. And then the Channel Eleven lady, she was like a reporter. She was like, well, I'm not going to get in. I'm just going to be at the airport with y'all. And I'm like, well, the Channel 2 lady, Nina, she got in. She was like, what? <laughs> Let me see that video. Let me see how she did it. <laughs> so she watched and she got in and actually interviewed us in the air. That's but that was dope. So That sounds a little distracting while you got in. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but how much of it is automated, too? Because I know I always hear, like, the pilot's there just in case of an emergency and they really just with the takeoff and the landing, but I don't really know what it is. So how much of it is automated now? How much of it is, how much work do you have to do when you're in the air? Well, you know what? I'm going to let Jerome, because we just flew to Niagara Falls. I'm going to let him. Yeah, Jerome, tell us what we did going to Niagara um, All right, so recently I flew to Niagara Falls. Um, it's a pretty long trip. It took over three hours and 20 minutes wow. just to get there. So um, I feel like, um, so during like the takeoffs and landings is the most important part. So the pilot, all the pilot input is like really needed for that part. But once you're cruising, you know, you can either hand fly it or you could put it on autopilot, especially on long legs. Like for, like what I said, it was three hours to get there. So, you know, autopilot, it will be fine. But you still always have to be like on alert because you never know if the right. autopilot can start working or air traffic control has to tell you to divert somewhere else. So. You can't like play video games or you know mm. you're texting. Nah, you have to nah, pay attention. Really. Nah, really. <laughs> so do you want? So what's the plan for you next now that you are uh, so far along? So I'm currently less than six hours away from my first license, the private pilot license. But career wise, I want to go to the airlines. I hope to be on the right seat of a Delta plane within five years. But what, what if you gotta go to the bathroom? Three hour they flight. let you go to the back because you have another person in there. No, you, you, oh, you have another person in there? Yeah, co pilot. All right, so in the plane that we fly, the Cessna 172, there is no bathroom. So <laughs> you must use the bathroom before you get on the Oh, you can wear a diaper. 
Right, there you go. <laughs> got you, or you have a, like, a, you know, like a back in the day, cup. you have a car, your little cup, <laughs> peeing a little That's cup. That's disgusting. You never did that before? Oh, you, I guess no, you I couldn't. Can't I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, how can people find out more about and this And one last thing I want to say, just as far as statistics, though, you know, the, uh, only uh, about 92% of America's pilots are white and 91% are men. So that's why a program like this is really important. I love to see our young brothers and sisters getting involved in this and women. That's a big deal. I love to see you guys that's here dope. and doing this amazing work. And so how much do pilots make? I'm just curious. I mean, so they can get up there. I mean, on average, you starting out, you know, you can start out with 80,000, 90, and then you can get up into two, 300,000. I look to hire one get? of you guys for my private jet. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you could learn to fly it yourself. Nah, B. Nah, I don't. I'm, I'm trying to relax. Tired. Come on, bro. Don't be afraid. Evie will definitely fall asleep flying the plane. Bro, I'll be knocked the hell out of like, Evie! Nah, but hopefully I look to hire one of you guys in my private jet. I don't have a private jet, but I'm just throwing it out there. Just, you know, Put it in the atmosphere. You, you want to hear something cool? Amora, you know, I'm going to share it. Her first time ever being on a plane, she flew it. Wow. Really? Think about mm -hmm. that. <laughs> That's wow. amazing. Yeah. That's con congratulations. Like, you don't understand. This is such a huge deal. And it is something that I noticed. Like I said, I look on the plane. Like, you always look to see who the pilot Absolutely. is. Absolutely. And most most of the times, it's a white man. Mm. Y'all ever, so, ever spun the plane around like like that? Like the don't give movies? Them so, all right. So, listen. When you so, get he your, asked. So, he got, here we go. Here we go. So, when you get your, when you get the rating, I have to <laughs> teach other people to the CFR. You have to take and put the plane in the spin and recover. So, you got to put it down in the spin and recover. So, that's kind of a cool maneuver. Yeah, <laughs> but he like nah, I ain't messing Give them the information out of here to contact with you if they need to. Um, and you know what? You know what else is interesting? Our our youngest aviator was eleven and a half. Wow, I didn't know you could even do that at such a young age. Yep, you can fly. I mean, so you can get your pilot license at what age? Sixteen. No, you solo at what? Oh yeah, seventeen. So you solo and you can get your pilot license at seventeen. Yeah. So Jerome is seventeen. He'll have his pilot license before his driver's license. Wow. Damn. I mean, think about that. You know, and so, but you can start. What's the youngest that you can start training? Three, any age. There's no age. FAA has no age, but I mean, you're not gonna put a. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, you, we start with kids that's like 12. You know, we start teaching them there and they're in the air learning and logging flight hours. Wow, that's Crazy. great. This might be something that people never even considered before. I hope so. But now this is something that you can yeah, say. You know absolutely. what? This is a great program. So how can people donate? All right. So I mean, it's you know we can y'all go can go to the you know, uh, we have wait hold on let me get my, you guys can go to the Young Airmen's Association. We, you, we have a website, United Youth Aviators. Uh, you just click scholarship tab. You can go through PayPal, donate through our tab. You can, you can even go to our hashtag, you know, the cash tag, United Youth, I mean, Young Airmen's, M-A-N-S. I mean, so many ways. And you know what? I know you guys have a lot of listeners, and people will think, well, you know, do I have to donate thousands? No, you can donate $2, $3, $4, mm -hmm. $5. It all adds up. And I always tell people, follow us, you know, and when you follow us, that's big because you can see where your four or five dollars went. Mm -hmm. You know, you can see how we're taking up 12, 13 year olds flying, going. And you ask us where we've been. I mean, we go everywhere. I mean, right. I go out to the, the audacity, right? We go to the Hamptons. We pull up kids like black and, black and brown, like y'all say, and they, we pull up and they go, whoa, what? Like, yeah, we here. What's up? <laughs> How you doing? Where the bathroom at? Yo, what's up? Where the bathroom at? Where that? You know, because they was all where the food at, bro? You know what I'm saying? Where that That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. But so, and and I really like that because when we take them to FBOs, you know, some of these kids don't even know what an FBO I was even ask means. You right now. A fixed base operation. So when you land, there's always the private section of every airport. So we always land there, and you see, you know, a lot of celebrities and stuff. They go through that side, and so do we. You know, so. Our kids, we always go there. We land there. We go everywhere. Like That's I said, you know, Jerome and I just went to Niagara Falls, and I was like, "Come on, let's get let's do a lesson out there." He never even been to Niagara Falls. Me neither. That's so dope. Bro. And how can people be in the program also? So if you know, we the waiting list is huge, but mm -hmm. you know, as we know, we'll get more funding. We know people are going to support more local politicians, you know, business owners, and once we get that, I don't want a waiting list. I want kids flying everywhere. Right. That's my goal. I want them going up. You know what I'm saying? Every day. Mm -hmm as much as they can but you go to our website unitedyouthaviators.com and you can just go right onto the site and just put your name in put your kid in and <clears throat> that's what we're doing alright All right. well thank you for joining us that's what's up it's the uh, UYA it's the Breakfast Club good morning